Yo, what's up, what's up? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean. That's right, it's me. Today, I'm bringing you guys another Elite Vlog. I was about to record my Elite Mail Monday, but currently my computer is rendering out a super duper long gameplay. Let's get closer here. It's been going for three hours, 51 minutes so far because my friends and I played some zombies. For Zombie Slayer Sunday, I was supposed to upload this two-part zombie gameplay where we lasted for nearly four hours. Both parts were going to be two hours each, but for some reason on uh, Saturday, because I get my videos ready the day before, my computer decided to shut down, get blue screens during the render, so I could not get it out on time, and now it seems to be rendering okay, no shutdowns yet. So, plan to see some zombie gameplay very soon. Before we get to the point of this video and the reason why I'm making this vlog here, check this out. Boom. Check it, homies. I finally got a shoe and hat rack. It's supposed to be for shoes, but I decided to put the hats in the middle because it looks sweet and it fits there perfectly. Before, I had my shoes and hats just sitting on the ground. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, found this $20 shoe rack, which was, this is a one set, you could stack them if you want to, for 20 bucks, man, it's a steal. And it turned out great. I could buy more of them and stack them on top of each other. Imagine getting a whole wall of racks full of shoes and hats. If I were to do that, I would probably put it back here in this back area because I did clean this spot out. No more junk in the walls. We do have some stuff in here still. But I'm thinking about like honestly filling this entire wall with shoe racks covering the entire thing because How sick would that be man? You can never have enough shoes and snapbacks I have some hats here as well and check these out. I got some posters man I bought the posters bought the frames and they look so nice. I have to hang these up. I have a Marvel one Gorgeous dude a lot of color got this halo one. It's kind of tough to see in this lighting over here Can I put it over here to see it better? You see myself in there more than the dang picture. Well, you get the point. It's a Halo one, and then I have a Advanced Warfare one. So I have to hang these up in the man cave. At some point, I want to cover like every portion of the wall with posters or something. I want to get every single Call of Duty poster and hang it up in my man cave. I used to have the ghost poster right here, but it kept falling down because of the cheap one. I want to get every single COD poster and hang up all over the room. How sick would that be? So enough of my man cave, my setup, let's get to the point of this video. Okay guys, so this company called LG, life's good. They sent me an email saying, yo, would you like to review our 34 inch ultra wide monitor? And I told them this, while I currently already have three monitors and I don't want to replace one with three. So they told me, well, we could send you multiple monitors. I'm like, hmm, can't really say no to that. So I said, okay, can I review two of your monitors? They said, sure. And they sent them a couple days ago. And what do you know? They arrive at my doorstep today. Check these out. Dude, like look at these. Massive 34 inch monitors, man. Two of them. Not one, but two. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox these and then I'm gonna set them up and test them out. I'm a little skeptic because I've always preferred gaming on a smaller screen. I used to game on this like 42 inch or 40 inch screen TV. Then I got a 23 inch monitor. I believe the 23 inches. And it was like night and day difference. Gaming on this smaller screen compared to the bigger one is so much better. You can respond faster, your eye can see more of the game at once, you don't have to move your face around to see the game. I don't know. I'm not too sure how gaming on this ultra wide monitor is gonna be. Will I game better? Will I game worse? I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna find out and I'll be sure to let you guys know. If I don't game as well on this monitor, I might just take away two of these and then use these for my computer. Then I'll keep one for gaming on. These monitors are catered to gamers. They're gaming monitors by LG. They have a lot of features that help gamers out. For example, real-time action, dynamic action sync, low input lag, 
They got this enhanced visibility black stabilizer game mode IPS. They said they have low input. I read somewhere that this monitor has five millisecond response time, which isn't that good. The monitors I have now is two. These are bigger, so it makes sense. I will find out if that makes a big difference or not. It does have the game mode where it makes it better for gaming and then the black stabilizer where if you're in a very dark area playing online, someone's hiding in the shadows, it allows you to see them. They don't blend into the darkness. So let's open these guys. I went online, I checked out some reviews. Those that had them said they were great, they look beautiful, the image is crisp, clear, colorful. They got great reviews. I really haven't seen or read anything bad about them, but man, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer at heart. I'm always gonna be gamer, and I'm gonna give you guys my true first impressions and what I think about these once they're set up and once I game on them. As I said, if they don't seem as good as my 24 inch or 23 inch, I'll then just use them for working on my computer. But before we open these, look at this. Look at all, whoa, dropped my camera. Look at all this mail. We got bags of mail, that's one bag. And we got some more mail. These are for Elite Mail Monday. I still have to record myself opening this mail, checking it out to you guys, but I wanna finish this render before I go ahead and do that. In other news, I know I keep getting off track here, but I'm also going to be getting a new computer made by Origin PC. That's right, I emailed them. I said, yo, do you guys offer sponsorship deals? I didn't say yo, by the way. When I send emails, I make sure they're, you know, grammatically correct, everything's spelled right, sounds good. And they pretty much said, yeah, man, um, we can't give you free hardware, but we can give you a very special discount, which is awesome. I could have gone ahead and just purchased the computer of my dreams, but I like saving money and getting the best deal possible. So I emailed them. They said they'd give me a deal, and we're also working on getting a sponsorship. So I might be sponsored by Origin PC very soon, and I'm so pumped because Origin, they're the best of the best. They're professionals. They know what they're doing. You might tell me, Sean, build your own computer. You save money. I want professionals who do this for a living to make it for me. I don't build PCs for a living. I record and play video games for a living. Yeah, that's right. Not even kidding. I do a lot more than that but you, you get the point. Okay, so now, finally now, we can unbox these. Now, where's my pocket knife, bro? Yo, bro, where's my, where's my knife? Dude, I set something down, I can't find it ever again, it's lost. It's gonna turn up though, maybe, maybe not. Well, luckily, I have another pocket knife down here. Whoop. All right, let's, let's open this, man. 34 inches, 21 by 9, ultra wide monitor. Are you guys ready? You're not ready? Well, get ready, because I'm not ready. I can't even open this knife with one hand. Check it out. Balancing on my knee like a boss. Let's open this. I'm honestly so surprised that they sent me two monitors. Like, when I asked, can I review more than one? They said, sure. We could send multiple ones. Dude. These monitors go for about $600 each. I'm gonna feel kinda bad if I don't like them. <laughs> These suck. No, but then people are like, yo, son, I'll take them, I'll take them. I'm gonna use them. I just might not guarantee use them for gaming. Even though they're gaming monitors, we'll, we'll find out. All right, I opened it, guys, check this out. So these are my one-handed vlogs, professionally unprofessional. Let's take these parts out. Let's get to the the beautiful stuff inside. We got some, this for the monitor? It requires like a battery pack thing. Got an HDMI, another plug. Let's get to this beast. This beautiful monitor. Whoa, careful, careful. This is the stand. Oh my goodness, guys. This is gonna be ginormous. I'm so used to gaming on my 23 inch. Gaming on this 34 is gonna seem like the biggest thing ever. You guys ready for this? Man, this thing is ginormous, dog. Yo, dog. You say you like wide screens? Then we made your wide screen a wide screen. Oh my god. When they say ultra wide, they're not joking. This thing is ultra wide. Oh my goodness. Online, looking at reviews, it does not give justice to how wide this thing is. 
Oh my god, I can't even hold my camera up tall enough to show the whole thing. Dude, hold up. Look at this. Is that my handprint already? No smudges. This thing is ginormous. Okay, this is my hand. Look how big this is. This is ginormous, man. This is so wide. I gotta hold this in comparison to my other monitors, dude. This is so wide. I'm gonna keep saying that until it's drilled in your head how wide this is. I'm trying to show the comparison between the wideness. I mean, you see this. I can't even get this whole thing on the dang camera. Like, that's my foot. I'm not stepping on it, but that's my, that's my dang foot. One, two, three, what's that, what, four feet long almost? Like, the, like what? I can't get over how wide this is. <sighs> okay, well we have two of them. Can these things even fit on my desk? That is the real question. I'll unbox the other one. I'm like so overwhelmed by the wideness. Ultra wide. They ultra ain't kidding. They ultra for real wide. They should put, we ain't kidding, under that. Ultra wide, this ain't a joke. Ultra wide, that's right. Ultra wide, you gotta say it twice. Ultra wide, it's bigger than you can even show in a camera. All right guys, we're gonna open this other one. <sighs> I'm scared, I'm scared. We're gonna have too much wideness. Yo monitor is so wide, you gotta move your head 360 degrees to see the whole thing. Oh! That was stupid. All right homies, we got another one right here. We got another ultra wide. This gonna be a beast. Damn, man, 34 inches. What am I gonna do with all this wideness, brah? Oh my goodness, dude. This is crazy, Holmes. What am I gonna do with all this? Oh my God. I can't even, dude. I can only odd right now. I can't even like fit them in my dang room, dog. Check this out. I can't even pick this thing up, homie. It's so heavy, man. This thing as big as my shoe rack, man. This is literally as big as my shoe rack. What? 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 That's a lot of screen. You watch videos, you look at reviews. You don't understand or acknowledge the wideness until you have it in person. These are freaking huge. I mean, two of these is just about the same size as three of these. I believe these equal 69 inches all together. These equal 68 inches. <laughs> okay, well, once my video is done rendering, I'm gonna unplug those, I'll set these up. These do have the option to go on a stand, but this is a triple monitor stand. I don't know if this triple monitor stand can hold a double 34 inch wide. Ultra wide, excuse me. I guess a massive shout out to LG for hooking me up with these monsters, man. I was not expecting this. I did not contact them. They contacted me and said, hey Elite Shot, we love your videos. We love what you do. Would you like to review our 34 inch monitor? I said, hmm, that sounds interesting. And I told you guys that I, had, I told them I had three. They said we could send you multiple. I said, I'll review two of them. I mean, sure, whatever. They sent me two of them, they're freaking ginormous. Oh yeah. So it can be mounted. Got a DVI, DP in, HDMI, audio. I believe these, these also have built-in speakers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set these up and I'm gonna see what I think about them, okay? I'll show you soon. Yo guys, are you ready for this? I just got done setting up the 34 inch ultra wide monitors by LG. These took me longer to set up than I was expecting because I had to remove my triple setup with the monitor stand. It was kind of a hassle, but it's set up now and they're so gorgeous. Beautiful. Check these out. One, two, boom, two. Ultra wide. Look at that wideness. So wide. These two monitors, these two, are about the same size as my three I had before. It turned out beautiful, man. I gamed on them, I tried it out, and it's not that bad. I should say it's better than I was expecting. When you go from a smaller monitor to a bigger one, 
you would expect to play worse because you're used to a smaller one because when I went from a bigger screen, my, my TV, to a monitor, I played better. But going to this, it wasn't bad. I was playing just as good. It was awesome having the bigger screen for a change. And it worked out, man. I was having great games. But there they are. Two 34-inch monitors. I'll show you guys the other ones that I removed. Here's the boxes that came from. And here's the stand. You know, it kind of, I'm a little sad because I used to use these three all the time. They're great. I love the Asus monitors and the stand was awesome. But I mean, if a company says, hey, would you like to review two 34 inch monitors? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm all for it, man. Give me them. I'll take them. So I did. And look at, just look at them. They're so wide, ultra wide. But that's it for the vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that thumbs up button. If you want to see more vlogs, more elite vlogs, let me know in the comments because, dude, I got more stuff to vlog. I got a gamer crate. I got a munch pack. I got stuff to show off at a later date. Here's a gamer crate with some gamer goodies. Here's a munch pack with some munchy stuff and some control freaks, a lot of them. Before we end this, you have to say goodbye and hello, or hello and goodbye to my little kitty cat, Louie. My boy, Lou, he's been with me since five years old, right, Lou? Isn't that right? What do you have to say to the camera? Anything? Oh, you just love being scratched. You just love it. Oh, Lou, your hair gets everywhere. Everywhere, Lou. You know that? Oh, you're a cute little cat. White hair, pink ears, pink paws. You got two different color eyes. He's pooped. He's probably heating up because he's got a coat on all the time. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. His hair is flying everywhere. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I had fun doing this. I'm glad I set these up. I'm glad they're working okay. I can game on them, use my computer on them. Now, it's all about me getting used to them, testing them out playing video games, recording, making vids, editing, doing what I do, and I hope they uh, work out great. But you guys know me. It's a lead shot here, a.k.a. Sean. I'm your friendly cat fanboy, and I'm signing out. Peace! This guy's asking for it. Mm-hmm. That's what you get. This guy next? Oh, yeah. Let's go, man! This thing is sick!